Hi, today I'm going to show you how to let the user log into your website using Facebook account. For that, uh, first of all, we need a Facebook uh, app. You have to create an app under developers.facebook.com. Here you have to be logged in to see this page and under my apps you have to create a new app uh, it's gonna ask you what kind of app you like and you have to give a name to that app i will give uh, identity create new here asking is it a test version uh, for our case, it doesn't matter. We should also take a category from the drop-down list. Uh, I will take a education and create app ID. Okay, I will skip this. And here, as you see, we had a identity. We have app ID and app secret and uh, let's go to visual studio uh, we go to app start folder and start up out underneath uh, you, you see this uh, this codes and we uncomment it and we use the app id from here I will copy it. Uh, paste it here. And we also need app secret. App secret, it need, it asks me to log in. Zero. Okay, now it show me. I'm not worried about this uh, because after recording, I will delete all. Okay. Now the we have to do something else in Facebook and go to settings. And here, yeah, you have to select the platform. We use the website and here ask me site URL and because of uh, we don't have a domain name at yet uh, we go to solution and select the application go to property and here you can see the URL that using Visual Studio to show us the website. Here, I will paste it here. Okay, and save changes. Now my app is ready to go. It's very easy. And let's start it. Let's see what's happened. Let's log in. Okay, it's uh, asked me use another service to log in. It's Facebook. Let's log in and it's asked me the confirmation. Say okay. It's right re redirect me back to my website okay as you see we have to register this login in our website and it asked me uh, email address uh, if you follow us uh, along with this uh, video series uh, you know that uh, we add also the username because uh, by default it uh, the membership provider using the email address as email address and username but uh, we we want to separate it 
and when the user login it's a uh, year it go it, here it will show the username not the email address for do that uh, let's go back and let's go first to models solution explorer models i can't view model let's go here and it is the first one is external login confirmation view model uh, it's just has the email address we, uh, we copy it and i will paste it here and i will change it to user oh, uh, name and here i will user name or let's do both this no. okay uh, the second uh, things uh, we have to change is uh, it's under controls icon controls and here we have to find <coughs> external login callback this is the page that uh, returning is here uh, we have this method and it's gonna return from facebook or the provider uh, from email address and put it to email but uh, we need also the username for that uh, we name we use username and login info dot default username it's gonna return whatever the username is uh, registered with that provider uh, i want to make a point here that uh, some uh, providers uh, like facebook uh, i don't know the something like uh, Microsoft or on the Twitter I think they gonna return the username and the other providers like Google it's only return the email address and that's because maybe you will get only username or only the email address but uh, we need both to register the user in our website the second one is uh, how to cr create the user in our the next one is uh, how to create the user here as you see it's only return email address and we use also username equal to model dot username is the second one and the next one we have to change let's close it all uh, it's in view it's in view under account uh, we have to find external login confirmation external login confirmation in this page uh, we also need to get from user the username and we have to change it actually we have to add this part to our form 
Okay. Uh, if I've done everything correctly, it should work now. I hope so. Let's try it. Oh, sorry. I don't uh, run it. Okay, that uh, because uh, it doesn't read. This page uh, has to be a call, not uh, directly go to that page. Um, I will start the application in default way and go to login. Let's login Facebook button here over here. As you see, the Facebook returned my username and the email address is empty. I will put some in email address. And register the user and now I'm registered with the username that it put. You can also change the username before you reg registering. And uh, that's it. That uh, we enable our website to use the Facebook account to log in to our website. Uh, the other thing that uh, I need to point uh, is the other providers we have uh, by default here the Microsoft account and Twitter account and also the Google account over here and you can you can uh, do that uh, for Twitter you can go to apps.twitter.com log in over there and you see and create new app and uh, for uh, microsoft you can go to uh, wait a moment i will log in always asking the password okay you have to go to Microsoft Icon Developer Center and here you can log in actually let's make bigger to see this that the URL is account.live.com slash developers slash applications that's the URL that you need to use and the Google account is also as you see it's console.developers.googles.com slash projects and you can do I will leave all the links under the videos and uh, there is another thing that you, you need to know uh, when uh, we use our URL to register or, or domain name, uh, some providers like Google need also a URL that the user uh, callback. Callback, uh, it's, uh, it's calling callback URL. Uh, whatever is your URL, you just need to uh, put Google dash. Uh, oh no, sorry. Sorry, it's uh, another. It's sign in dash Google. And it's uh, also, I think, also the Microsoft icon need also this callback URL. It's gonna be sign in dash Microsoft. If uh, the Twitter need or the Facebook, you can uh, use, uh, you have to only change the 
last part in future uh, I don't know maybe they change the way that the application work okay uh, that's it uh, and I hope you enjoy this video uh, thanks for all people that uh, subscribe our channel if you like our videos or or channel uh, if you want to support us uh, just share our video but uh, and in this way we will be happy and if we see we have more viewers we gonna make more videos okay uh, I hope see you in next video I think uh, we gonna make a video about uh, the confirmation email uh, it's mean when the user uh, register in your website that uh, get an email that uh, user can activate his email his account with your website okay see you bye okay see you bye